Yo, what's going on, guys? Crispy Flakes here. So I've been heavily been wanting to do a new look Houston Rockets rebuild just because, like, man, when they got Jabari Smith and everything like that, I was like, what a perfect piece in addition to add to this team up in here. Like, straight up, I look at Jalen Green, I look at Jabari, and what they remind me of, of what this team could become, is essentially the Ray Allen, Rashard Lewis, Seattle Supersonics, man. Like, obviously a better version of that, because I think that the additional players on this team, you know, have that be Kevin Porter or Sengun, who I'm just going to call LP the entire video, because I'm probably still saying his name wrong. Um, I think guys like that can, you know, just be such big parts of this team here, too. And uh, this team has really good potential, man. So we're going to go on this rebuild right here. If you guys want some more rebuilds, you know, let me know which team I should do next. And also leave a like on this video so I know you guys want this type of content and everything, right? But, uh, yeah, man. So kind of the goal of this first season isn't really to do too much with the team because I think it's going to be a good year of development. You know, Jabari is only 19 years of age. You know, Jalen's only 20 himself. And I really think he's going to have just... I mean, towards, like, the second half of the NBA season last year, he really broke out. He kind of struggled in the beginning, which a lot of guards tend to do that with efficiency and things like that. But, uh, yeah, he proved why he was drafted or he was at and everything like that, right, man? So, yeah, this season is going to be all about just development and maybe even putting ourselves in a position to maybe add the final piece to this team, which could be a guy like a... Uh, when Ben Yama or somebody like that, right? Assuming, you know, we're not a, a good basketball team in the first season. But uh, yes, uh, the first thing I want to do with this video, though, is trade away Eric Gordon. I think it's time, you know, two years left on his contract. Me, personally, if we get a draft pick back for him, I would be happy with that. Because, um, like, the rotation of this team, I actually like what they already kind of have going on. So I can't really see a circumstance where I can, like, trade for a player and be like, okay, like, this is the guy that I want to uh, be playing, you know, taking up minutes from some of the young bloods up in there, right, man? So simply looking for either an expiring contract or a draft pick, and I will personally be happy with that. So yeah, $18 million a season, um, a little bit too much more than what I want. So straight up the old Tobias Harris, you could be our starting small forward, sure, why not? But we're not giving up a draft pick to take on Tobias's contract, not doing that. Uh, Kevin Love, uh, okay, so they're actually looking for quite a bit back for me. Here we got, you know what? That's actually a really solid trade. Because, you know, nothing against Boban. Boban's a goat and everything like that. But Steven Adam, you know, for a season, a little grit and grind factor right there, I think could actually help this team out quite a bit. You know, set some hard screens and things like this. Dude says the hardest damn picks in NBA history, straight up, man. Like, but, ooh, you know what I'm saying? Like, we'll knock that bitch ass air out of you. So, um, we could look at more trades, but I'm not going. Oh, we got to give him a pick. Pick swap. Get a second round pick back out of it. I mean, I guess all things considered, like, it is going to be an expiring deal and everything. Unless I think it is. Let's uh, actually confirm that. He might have, like, an option on it. Okay, but, um, it was get Clint Capella. I've got to give him a second round pick. He is an 81 overall player, a former member of the Houston Rockets, as we all know. Um, probably, you know, maybe, maybe the starter for now. I could kind of get behind that one, too, for kind of, kind of the same reasons as I was talking about Steven Adams. But a little bit more money invested with Clint Capella in that case. But we know very well that he could just, um be a really serviceable either starter or backup center for this team and maybe it allows the hawks to kind of move in the direction of uh a congo and everything right so you know we, i mean obviously we got some really good trades here but we're trying to keep it somewhat realistic here and uh yeah i think eric gordon actually going to the hawks would help out you know look at uh getting another good score for their bench unit and everything like that so like the Stephen Adams one, and I love giving up a pick to do it. This one, we got to give him a second round pick. Not that big of a deal. And Clint Capella's contract, I think, for the type of center he is, is pretty good, man. So let's bring Clint back to the team. And we know that uh, he can definitely help improve, you know, at least the assist of some of the guards up in there. Right, man? So, yes, uh, for our lineup, I guess we got to do a few more additions right here because, you know, we don't have a starting caliber small forward, in my opinion. So how we're going to rock it out with that is I'm thinking... I think he's been talked about going on the trade block a little bit. Um, but Kenyon Martin Jr. says power forward center. He's 6'6". I love his athleticism. You know, can be a 3 and D type of player. Especially he can really embrace using athleticism for the defensive purposes. So, I know it says power forward center. But I'm going to go with small forward, power forward here. And uh, we're going to do the same for... Where's he at? Where's he at? For Jashawn Tate, who was all rookie team last year, I believe. Um, old head rookie and everything, but those guys can be really good players. Just signed a nice three or $22 million contract. And uh, Jabari obviously plays his position. So I think small forward is probably the way to go. And will probably be the starter. He's 6'4", but, you know, he got that P.J. Tucker toughness to him, man. So he'll be all right, you know, starting there. But um, it's going to be a pretty deep rotation because I actually really like a lot of the players on this team. I actually watched a lot of uh, Houston Rockets Summer League and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, man, we're looking at Kevin Porter, Jalen Green, Deshaun, Jabbar. We got Clint at center for now. 
um lp is going to be the backup center although i wouldn't mind him starting either but i think this is probably the best role for right now um let's utilize clint capella you know towards the beginning of this contract and towards the end when he starts aging and stuff that's when lp can get the start uh we got gary bird you know up in here man for the back of a small forward Kenyon martin jr so i guess okay we got him at small forward power forward okay so we'll probably play a little more mostly power forward i guess for the backup unit um we're gonna take away the minutes here from bobon sorry bobon i'm sorry man i'm sorry we don't need that many centers though and yeah josh christopher oh my goodness like there's not room to have him as the starter i guess in theory he could be the starting small forward and everything but this kid is really good like he's got so much hustle in him. like this man wants to be a great basketball player and uh damn so yeah and i guess for like a wait what is what's is josh can he be a backup point guard or is he okay shooting guard small forward okay um let's also give some minutes here to ty ty washington just because i don't know i personally like am buying more and more into kevin porter being a starting point guard like he really did up his assist and stuff like that uh but ty ty can just be like another you know type of point guard that you know if you want to watch run kevin porter off ball at times so you put ty ty in the lineup and that'll be completely fine um so we're gonna do that let's give him a few more additional minutes here um not too many though but about 11 a game but yeah he did some impressive things in the summer league also and let's get uh yeah, let's get kevin porter at 30 a game i uh, will go 35 for you um 26 for Deshaun. uh yeah 30 a game for jabari smith and we got clint capella kind of splitting minutes with alpi up in there man so i think this is a good start to the season jay lincoln is going to get a lot of minutes here actually let's kind of split the difference here um yeah we'll go 32 to jabari i want those guys playing a lot because obviously like the future of the team and everything like that so that will be good um as far as anything else for this season probably not too much going on we got three and a half star pace and space system i love that you know it's Clint Capella does and he's not that type of player but that'll be fine it's like oh you got all the shooters around him everything it's gonna actually work out pretty damn nicely so yeah guys uh that is all we have for this first season not expecting to make the playoffs if I'm being honest but I don't really want to I feel like if we get when uh when Benyama or somebody like that's gonna be great for this team so let's go ahead simulate this NBA season and see how this new look Houston Rockets team can do okay guys uh so definitely probably not gonna end up with the top two pick in the draft or anything like that uh we were actually pretty solid which I guess you know in theory that means that we've made the right moves and we're progressing in the right direction and we've got on out of that completely like top five lottery team kind of space um which I'm not mad about it because you know we might not end up getting one of those top dudes but it's showing what we have is already working so we got one more game here against the Hawks uh, so 42 wins for the Houston Rockets, which kind of shows it's a really deep Western Conference. Simulate through date and finish with an L on the season. Jokic MVP. We got Chet as Rookie of the Year. Uh, Hartenstein is six man Giannis Defensive Player. There's all the rest of the stats. Uh, all NBA first, uh, All NBA second, and All NBA third. Looking like that with Chet taking the All NBA 13 minutes rookie season. That's hell of impressive, man. But uh, okay, so yeah, we're in the playing tournament, which is nice. Uh, let's go to the player stats on the season. They'll see how all these dudes performed for us. So we got uh we got Jabari as the leading scorer, which I was actually not expecting that from the first season. 19 points, seven rebounds, four assists, just behind it by 0.2 points is Jalen Green at about well, once again, about 19 points, three rebounds, four assists. Uh Kevin Porter at 17, but I love the seven assists and the five rebounds. Um, and only two turnovers. Like, that's not bad at all. Um, yes, yeah, like uh kind of like a two to one assist turnover ratio I don't know the exact ratio because math but uh yeah man so uh lp at 13 and 6 as the backup center i still i think he might work his way into the starting center spot soon um and he's shooting threes good because 2k sometimes doesn't make guys shoot threes correctly um but he, as, he has that as part of his game and everything he can definitely st stretch the floor clint was great for what he wanted him to be um josh christopher definitely made the most of his minutes and overall just everybody played really nicely man now for the small forward position um both these guys you know they were more like swiss army knives like didn't do too much but did a little bit of everything which is great um so yeah man let's go ahead and get to these playoffs first or i guess we got playing against the portland trailblazers loki i kind of don't want to win so we have better lottery odds but uh we'll go ahead and simulate the play in and houston rockets were eliminated um to the los angeles lakers that's okay man that's okay so let's uh go ahead and get to the offseason i have no idea what our lottery odds are now but maybe magic will happen man not orlando magic that happened last season it's kind of time for some houston rockets magic uh wait did i see malcolm brogdon his finals mvp i usually click through it pretty damn quickly man but yes 32 5 and 10 damn um things i did not expect to happen in this video but hey shout out to the celtics and brogdon it was a hell of a mood then again he won rookie of the year so maybe i shouldn't be surprised but let's go to this draft lottery see what it's looking like and uh yeah man we got this we got we got we got we got we got do we have odds okay we have a one percent chance 
Our damn magic at 14, of course. Okay. Yo, Nyx, uh, things did not work out over there. So we have the... We have the 14th pick in the draft. Okay, that's fine. Uh, that is completely fine. We'll see what we can do with that. Uh, yeah, we're not going to worry about the staff signing. Let's go to the NBA draft, man. So... Um, I don't know if it's going to be a play that's going to play for us right now because, you know, we got some other pieces out there kind of working and everything. But let's see what it is. Maybe we can get like a, a draft and stash or something like that. Uh, so choose prospect. Let's go ahead. So we got this sidey. Probably saying that wrong. Julian Phillips, Chris Livingston. Okay, a lot of solid players here. But I think ultimately speaking, uh, let's go ahead and just go best available. This guy is 7th rank, 7th 2K ranking. So, um... I thought I said he was a, okay, overall C, so not center, overall C, gotcha. Let's get him on the squad, though, you know, see what we can do with him eventually. Uh, we'll be completely fine. So there we go, some to the end of that, and, yo, they all got Victor and Paolo on the Magic. That team, watch out, everybody. 74 overall, uh, we also got Uzmain right here, so we'll get him signed up. Team player options, Kevin Porter, definitely bring him back on that. Um, only 23 years of age, we're going to have to pay him next season and everything, so qualifying offers, nothing there, free agency. Um, part of me wants to like, like see like what this team could do for another season, but also part of me too wants to go out and see maybe we get ourselves a decent small forward because you know I think that's a probably the position we can improve the most. Um, and Dylan Brooks with the perimeter defense, he would actually fit in perfectly with this team. I actually like the idea of him on the squad a lot. If I'm being honest, um, let's make sure we don't owe money to somebody else first, though. You'll give uh, a very important player, you know, his money. So Trey Burke, love you at Michigan, man. Love you, man. So many good memories back in 2013, but. Yeah, uh, taking the L as far as this goes. And we're going to go ahead and get, hopefully, Dylan Brooks signed up for the team. So I'm going to overpay just a little bit. Make sure we can get him. Give him the three-year deal. And looks like he's going to agree to that. Let's get out of the moratorium period. Welcome to the team, Dylan Brooks. I think that's the perfect type of signing that we need on the squad. Um, I'm also thinking I'm going to snatch up Patrick Beverly. I don't know if Ty Ty is going to be ready quite yet to, you know, we gave him some minutes last season. But I guess let's see... Uh, yeah, let's get Patrick Beverly just in case. If he has to ride the Piner, that's fine too, man. But we'll give him the two-year deal so we can... Oh, he goes to the Dallas Mavericks. Okay, well, I guess Ty Ty, you better be ready to go, go, man. Be ready to go, go. Uh, outside of that, anybody else who want to sign? I mean, we got some decent players, but I'd rather just give the minutes to Ty Ty, if I'm being honest. Um, so let's go ahead and simulate two at the beginning of the regular season. Okay, guys, here is the team going into the next season here. Starting five looking like this. Absolutely love it. We got Jalen up to an 87 overall, Kevin Porter up to an 84. Um, and then we got, we got, we got, you know, this for the rest of the unit right here. But I think we got to do a little bit of consolidation right here. Um, I don't know. Actually, do we, do we? Who's not going to get minutes? Yeah, let's trade some of these players, you know, for some draft picks or just like consolidate a little bit. Not saying these guys don't deserve to stay on the team, but we got more talent and not enough roster spots. So you might as well look to improve here. And uh, I think I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep Kenyon Martin as our backup small forward. You know, nothing against you, Deshaun Tate, but you know, it's just somebody's got to go at some point and this is probably the best course of action right here. So let's do a trade of you. Um probably also gary bird you know i i i love what he brought to the scene with the shooting and everything like that but we can try to get some draft picks i guess man i think that's probably the best course of action or like i said maybe we'll get a really good player out of it here you get d'anthony melter for two seasons I, I like that quite a bit um for our backup point guard for now really good defensive player him in the backcourt with josh christopher that would actually be like insanely good you know what we're gonna do it tie tie uh, you'll get your job you'll, you'll, you'll get your opportunity man you know you'll get your opportunity but i actually really like that trade a lot i really like it Okay, um, damn, that's gonna be, this team gonna be a problem, man. Yeah, we're gonna do that. He's actually up to 78 overall, but, uh, we're gonna rock with this team for a season. I actually like that for our rotation, although I do think I'm gonna switch out these two dudes like that, and we're gonna up the minutes a little bit more here for, uh, for Alpi. Give him those minutes, uh, get, it will bump you down a little bit, uh, Jalen, because you have about 35 a game, that's looking pretty good um dylan brooks getting 26 that's completely fine you know, we got some other good players up there that deserve some minutes all right man we were what uh, we were in the playing tournament let's try to avoid that and just make the natural playoffs i think that's gonna be the goal for the second season all right guys the end of the regular season this team took such a big jump i knew that jalen green jabari connection was gonna work add an lp to the starting five kevin porter and his development first place man um, also, 2K can be very inaccurate at times, too. I think we call it like this, but it's just for fun, man. You know, it's a good opportunity to talk about the different teams, my thoughts, and opinions, your guys' thoughts, and opinions in the comment section below. Uh, we got one more game against the Hawks here. We are a 64-win team. 
which uh you know we very well do without 2ks we get swept in the first round of the playoffs but hey i like the development Jokic just wins every mvp in existence uh victor as rookie of the year oh is he on the thunder those are thunder jerseys right i thought he was drafted by the magic for some reason uh bones as six man Giannis, mark williams most improved good for him steven as coach of the year love seeing that all nba first uh all nba second and all nba third so i'm curious who was the leaning score for this team this time around um just because jabari was it last year man so 65 win team who stepped up big time i'll honestly just a lot of good balance like yes jalen green's scoring went up but very efficient 54 percent field goal efficiency uh but the rebounds the assist and we got jabari at 18.7 rebounds five is love his all-around game man straight up kevin porter keeps on getting better every single season lp at 14.7 rebounds five assists how do you shoot from three this season 37 percent the spacing was immaculate for this team and uh dylan brooks loki was a very nice pick i'm not saying he did like as much as the other dudes did too but uh it's sort of the fifth option he played really well i would say all things considered so there's the rest of the bench stats and everything looking really really good and crispy man so here we go uh let's go ahead and simulate the playing tournament we got portland trail blazers in the first round simulate round here see how this goes we're gonna lose in the first round man yeah, four games to two okay i'll take it it was not a first round exit um josh hart playing with the hartman 18 points we got jalen dropping the 2017 for dylan brooks uh next up we got the pelicans zeon as people call him uh simulate round here Ooh, Zion with the seven game series, man. It's all good though. Cause you got stopped by Jalen Green. 27 points, four assists. Uh 13 for Zion. Oh, it's got Derrick Rose. Okay, that's cool. Next up, we got Minnesota with Rudy Gobert, man. Simulate round here. Oh, it's a sweep. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. We got Malcolm Brogdon in the Boston Celtics in the NBA Finals. I swear. I'm gonna punch a hole in the wall. If Malcolm Brogdon beats us and wins another finals MVP, a hole will go through the wall, man. Guarantee. Guaranteed, man. I'll get the Rasheed Wallace jersey. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Simulate rounds. It better not be Malcolm. Because they ain't going to be Malcolm in the middle. It's going to be Malcolm fist through the damn wall, man. Okay, but what? Okay, you know, okay. Tatum Todd's too cool, man. I'm, I'm cool with it, man. I mean, I'm still mad that we lost. But I'm happy that it wasn't, you know. Oh, y'all got real deal bad in the field? Damn, man. Oh, my. Yo, and you got CJ. <laughs> let's just take every shooting guard of the NBA. Okay, interesting. Um, Let's do one more season, man. I, you know, obviously, we're so close and everything like that. But uh, this season going to be a little bit more difficult because, you know, we got some options coming up and everything. We have some decisions to make financially speaking. I think the integrity of the team will probably remain intact, though. I can't see myself making. Two oh, my goodness. Our entire 65-win team got two years on the team options. Now, we could be a nice guy and give all these guys, like, the money they deserve. Or we could be a businessman and uh, just accept them all. <laughs> yeah, we haven't really played Terry Eason, who I, uh, Tari Eason, I believe is actually how you pronounce it, who I actually really like a lot. The man's 6'8". Um, damn, man, like, he's going to be our Dylan Brooks replacement oh, real quick. Maybe not in this video because, you know, it's probably be the last season. But still, um, so we're going to decline Isaiah Joe here. Sloppy Joe. Too many turnovers. That might not be true, but that's what I would call you. I would call you Sloppy Joe if you had a lot of turnovers. Kevin Porter, we're going to give him the qualifying offer, although we're going to try to sign him to his contract. Um, you know, with you got the bird rights. We got to wait until after more touring period glitches out. So let's just make sure that he just goes through the system with no issues, no renowned rights, nothing there. Alrighty, let's pay the man his money. He's looking for about $25 million. Um, honestly, the way he's been playing, I think that's more than worth it. So um yeah we're gonna actually i'm, I'm gonna go a little more money man i like what he's been doing I, I think that he's really bet on himself you man breaks that point guard position and we are going to reward the man because of it so there we go kevin porter what you gonna do man all right looking good any other additions we want to make to this team um or i guess moves should i say here so garuba was actually pretty nice for us last season he's up to an 80 overall which makes me think we can probably move on from clint capella um i'm gonna package clint capella with dylan brooks and see what this can get us like if we can get like a really good six man and maybe start uh tari on the team oh 77 overall he might not be like like not be quite ready for that but uh let's see what this gets us here man if we get chris middleton this just, just nice efficient score like that could be great um or we could just keep the team how it is and that'd be completely fine too and based off some of these man yo ben simmons on this team would actually work like crazy because while you know if he can like use his athleticism like you'll be slashing the basket and stuff and play some off ball when kevin porter's handle it but also you can run it through ben simmons 
damn, you have the spacing around him with, you know, LB and uh, Jabari in the, uh, in the front court with him. I really like that trade. I think, we, ooh, yo, Ingram would be nice too, man. Ingram would be really nice too. But uh, I think we're going to do this trade here, man. We're going to bring Ben Simmons to the team. It's the third season. We're going for the championship. I and mean, we were 65 wins. I think this makes us a better team. And we get Kem uh, Birch out of it too. So, I mean, that's a basketball player. Hey, that's a big time move, man. Let's simulate to the beginning of the regular season. Okay, guys, here is the team going into the final season of the rebuild. We got Kevin Porter. We got Jalen Green. We got Ben Simmons. We got Jabari Smith Jr. We got Alpi up in here, man. We got Garuba really making strides and becoming a good rotational piece as our backup center. This guy's got really good athleticism. Definitely can stretch the floor. At least he could in. Uh, I don't think... I think he played overseas, right? Yes, I believe he played overseas. And I know like I know he was like a 3 and D. Like that was like his strength or anything. Although I don't know if he actually played that way in his rookie season or anything like that. We got Chris up to an 81 overall. We got Kenny Mar. We got Ty Ty. We got DeAnthony for the 10-man rotation. This team's going to, I think, win a championship, man. I think we can definitely do it. Or we'll have a big setback and not make the playoffs. You never know with 2K. Okay, guys, end of the regular season first place. No big time surprise there. One more game here against the Phoenix Suns, and we are a 59 win team, so a little bit of a step back, but still a really good record, obviously. Uh, Similarly, through Dave, finished with a W on the season. We got Jokic MVP again, man. Wendell Moore Jr., rookie of the year. James Harden is sixth man on Philly. Okay, okay. I mean, he's getting up there in age and everything. Uh, but yeah, all NBA first. All NBA second. Hey, yo, what's going on, Cade? I'm just going to toss that out there. And all NBA third. All NBA third. Um, so here we go. Here we go. First place. Let's go with the player stats on the season. Although it's been a lot of balance scoring throughout this rebuild here. Um, and once again, a lot of the same with, you can't complain about that when you got, you know, everybody in your starting five averaging 10 plus points, Ben Simmons, um, seven assists, six rebounds. We know he's playing some defense too and everything like that, but really like, look at the playmaking. Like that reminds you so much of maybe like the, uh, San Antonio Spurs back in the day, man. Like the ball movement. It's just like everybody was passing and making plays for each other. Unselfish basketball definitely is the way to go man uh definitely the way to go so i guess also you could say like the golden state warriors too and just like their system over the dynasty years and everything which is still going on uh but here we go uh simulate playing tournament championship or bust simulate round what's up denver what's up Denver? <laughs> damn man okay um there we go we got 29 for jabari next up pelicans simulate rounds looking good looking good okay okay uh, Eastern Conference, Golden State Warriors, simulate rounds. Okay, okay. Oh! 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 I can't lose. <laughs> I can't lose, man. Um, in this reality, I could lose because, come on, man. As, a, as if I was a Piston fan, we lost to the Houston Rockets. Y'all know this would be the most toxic NBA Finals of all time, man. You know, I love my Houston Rockets fans. Don't get me wrong, everything like that, man. But y'all know this would be toxic. It'd be fun, too. But uh, it would get very hostile very quickly. <laughs> simulate round, man. Yeah, I think. Yes, you woo. I feel like I'm fucking glitching in the matrix, man. Like, I don't know how to handle this emotion. Jabari, oh, microphone just must, may, may have broken it, man. May have broken it. Okay, okay, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we have LeBron. We have LeBron in the Detroit. You know what, man? I, I, you know, I know, I know, I know, I know. He will never admit it. I know he secretly wishes he would have fell in the draft to Detroit, man. I know secretly he wishes he could play with Chauncey, Rashid, Rip Hamilton, Tayshawn Prince, man. Wow, they got to play with Cade, so pretty much the same. You know, pretty much like playing with Michael Jordan, man. But I mean, I mean, the Houston Rockets won, though. This is the Houston Rockets rebuild, and we won a championship, guys. That's all we got for this video, man. Uh, thank you all so much for watching, and peace out.